Okay, so we talked about functions a little bit. I'm going to add a couple more things because there's a lot of little things with functions that you have to understand. Let's talk about the scope and rules of certain functions. So let's create a function called um, uh, integer get value. We'll bring in a um, we'll bring in an integer as well. Integer my int semicolon. Remember, this is the function header or the de declaration of the function. And then you have to actually define what the function does below. So I copy and paste it and put some brackets in instead. Um, so what this function is doing is going to get a value, but we can we're making this up arbitrarily. So we're bringing in a parameter called integer my integer, and what we're going to do is we are going to um, add one to that number, and that'll be the value. So return my int, which came into the function, plus one. Okay. So that's all we're going to be doing, and now uh, we're going to take this step by step and talk about scoping rules here. So let's go ahead and print out uh, the value you get when you call get value, and you bring in a number, say, 4. Obviously, we're going to probably get the number 5 back, but that's not what we're going to show here. We're going to do F12 to rebuild all, and F5, and you get the number 5, just as expected, right? Let me exit that. So you bring in a four and it returns a five. Now let's put a let's make this a a variable called my int within the main function. So integer my int equals four. So let's use my int instead of the number four here. So you can bring in variables to your function because that my int ultimately is an integer value called four. Let's run that and it should do the same thing. F12 to rebuild all and F5 to run, you get 5 just as expected. But what I'm showing you is, I hope that's still recording. Should be. What I'm showing you is that the my int within the main function is a different variable than the my int within the get value function. This is ha this has to do with scoping rules. If it was declared within this function, then it stays within this function. When you call get value my int, what happens is the get value function actually makes a physical copy in another memory location of whatever my int was. So this my int is actually different than this my int. To prove that, see down here in this in this uh, function, I added one to my int. Let's print my int again. The the main function one my int and see what we get and so rebuild all and run so it prints out the number five then the number four as you can see so even though my int was one one was added to it it really didn't affect the my int that was in the main function see on line number ten when I print out my int it's still printing out four nothing actually happened to that variable called my int the reason is because a copy of that variable was brought into get value, just a copy of it, not the same one. It's a very important concept. And since we're at it, I'll show you uh, a couple other things that uh, we'll dive into a little bit more later. So let's do a couple things. Let's print out the actual memory location of my int. And to do that, we're going to do a C out memory location of the main my int. We're going to call it, we're going to do it like this. And so to do that, you'd put the ampersand on there and put in my int. Okay. So what we're doing is we're printing out the memory location of my int. Then we're going to call this function called get value my int. And then we're going to print out my int again. Um, but what we're also going to do within get value function let's print out the memory location of this particular variable just to show that they're two different memory locations because they're just copies of each other so let's do another C out memory location of get value my int and now let's print out the memory location which is the ampersand my int it knows to use the my int within the scope of get value my int within main is not even accessible by this function. OK. 
Okay, so let's hope this all works now. I'm going to hit F12 to rebuild it all. No errors. Hit F5. Here we go. So we have memory location of the main myant is that 0x23fe4c is a hexadecimal memory location. The memory location of the get value myant is 0 by 23 fe20. See they're different. fe4c and fe20. So that's why nothing actually changes in the main function. They're completely different. So on line 12 when you print out my int again, you're printing out the main functions my int that never actually got changed. Pretty neat little concept and you will definitely need to learn more about this in later videos.